This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. And as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. This week, we have a very special toast buttering guest. It's Irk from Australia. Hi, Cammy. Hi, everyone. Why are you buttering toast, Irk? I'm about to give you a taste of Vegemite. And it's an Australian delica delicacy. And um, so I'm buttering some toast for yourself and for Dr. Normal and for myself because I haven't had any since I've been here. And also for our studio guest. There's four plates. There are four of us. There are four pieces of Texas toast with butter. They are now getting Vegemite on them. I have had Vegemite once in my entire life. I was not fond of it then. It was spread on a lot thicker than you're doing, though. And, and actually, Cammy, I said to you that I will not have Vegemite while I'm here because I want to save it for the show. That's true. You had been saving Vegemite. We knew that it was present. You haven't had it this entire time. We haven't had it this entire time. As a matter of fact, this evening, even though he's been with us since Tuesday night, this is the first time that he's been down in our studio. It is. We didn't even show him downstairs <laughs> until right before the show tonight. I, I didn't like to spoil the illusion. Yeah, the surprise. Now, would you like it cut straight or would you like it cut I diagonally? Like corner corny? to corner, corny? please. Diagonally? Yeah. Okay. I like diagonally. It's very important. I'm glad you asked. It's important. Some people take their toast differently. Normally, I wouldn't have asked. How I, how I spread it is hot toast, butter, maybe mm -hmm. a bit thicker than normal, mm -hmm. and Vegemite lightly toasted. I like butter. Lightly. I like butter I a lot. On. It's good. So there you go. Oh, can I have a little plate? Oh. Are we allowed to play this? Thank you so uh, much. Yeah, sure. You betcha. Uh, I recorded it this afternoon. Okay. Yeah. It's, Thank it's, you it's so much, cover. Vada. It's a cover. Thank you so much, Vada. That's fantastic. Oh, you can't really hear it, can you? I can, but I, can. I have fantastic new headphones. For anyone actually... Okay, that's fair use. Thank you. For anyone watching, the anyone watching, I usually have big, huge, bulky headphones that I, I can hear great. It's fantastic. Um, I got new headphones. We're testing them out. If you could see them, I look like I'm on Star Trek. Oh. Can anyone hear... Yeah, I'll, I'll hook that up there. I, I want to say that uh, Cammy's got a whole Uhura vibe happening right now. There we go. Those are my new headphones. I feel like I'm on a starship. Dr. Normal. Okay. <clears throat> Should I eat it now while it's okay, warm? Okay, hang on here. Eat it. Absolutely, Cammy. Okay. Wait. I hope this is good so I don't have to make... Oh, it's like a commercial, though. If I don't like it, I have to learn to make the nice face anyway. I, I should put the About Us uh, wiki graphic on so they can... Which camera know. am I working with? You're <laughs> on the one I didn't have queued up. Oh, my God. Which one? Hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm not on camera You're, you're right on now. camera. Which camera? Uh, I, I feel like this is a cooking show. Camera one or camera two? Camera one or camera two? You this camera reminds two. me of Wayne's Camera one. two. Okay. Camera one. Camera Are we ready? Uh, yeah. Do you guys want to bite? Yeah, yeah, let's just... Uh, Okay. Should I webcam? Oh, I'll webcam mine. Oh, wait a minute. Studio guest. Mm. Oh, yes. Pada. And thank you. one for me. <laughs> this is a new band on uh, Podsafe Music Network, I believe. <laughs> I think I'm going to play them on Echo Femme next week. I tried to introduce Dr. Normal onto Bar Jars before, but he wouldn't be in it. I, I'm gonna, I, I, I want to note that being a vegetarian, a, I've had Vegemite before. Mm -hmm. You can get it in local markets, and uh, often we use it to add in sort of the soup we make to flavor tofu to make mm. it taste like meat. Now, that would be a good use of it. I'm yeah. not sure I like it just on the toast. Oh, I love it. But that would be a really good use to make like a beef, like a beef barley stew with no beef. Mm-hmm. That would be a really, really good use. You combine really like some soy and this. Because it does. It tastes like, like beef bouillon. Yeah, mm. I like the I like I'm, the toast. I'm showing the off. Oh, there it is. Doctor Normal, have you tried it yet? <clears throat> Not yet. Okay, eat it. Take a that would huge be, bite. What is this? Toast, Texas butter, Texas toast and with Vegemite. So we'll mm -hmm. just. Hi everybody, how you doing? Vegemite cam. This is the mm -hmm. Vegemite cam. <laughs> mm. Oops. 
It's not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh. No, maybe, it's maybe it was the way I spread it. Beefy or something. Or something. Yeah, it's very beefy. I agree. Buttery. Buttery. For, yeah, for something called Vegemite, it's very beefy. Mm, when I actually ca- when I came into the country, one of the things, one of the many things that Uncle Sam asks you on the form is, "Are you carrying any food?" Mm-hmm. This tin was Hand, the handguns. By the way, are perfectly legal. <laughs> yeah, food. <laughs> keep it out. This tin was the only food that I brought with me from Australia to the United States. Mm-hmm. So I thought I'd be a good little Vegemite, and I would show, show us the tin again. Mm. Camera two. Camera two. And I thought that I would be a good little Vegemite and tick yes on my form. Mm-hmm. In Western United States, English, the tin we call a jar. Yeah. Tin, a jar, jar, can. can, a container. Yeah. We've had many of these conversations since I've been here. Yeah. Container. Yeah, one of our, one of our uh, one viewers of the border asked agents. me if we would have a translator for you on the show tonight. <laughs> I couldn't remember who it was, but they didn't understand anything you said at Beer and Blog. Oh, okay. That was rather interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, so one of the border agents. One of the border agents asked me, what food did I have? And I said, I've got a can of Vegemite. And then he said, is that a meat? And I <laughs> said, no, it's, it's not a meat. It's a spread. Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. Not a problem. Mm-hmm. So he was just worried about if it was meat. So next time, when I go over the border to Canada or Mexico and I've still got this, mm-hmm. I think I'll just tick no. Yeah. Because they said, well, don't worry about it. So I oh, will put that there. Or, or you should call That's ahead right. because you could get it in any Safeway or major food outlet here. Yeah, they do have it. Yeah. Actually, Not at our local grocery store. What's but. in it? What's in it? Well, I, reckon, I, I reckon, it? I reckon I Cammy should read it. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> That'll make it sound very smooth. Ingredients. Yeast extract. Salt. Mineral salt. Malt extract from barley. Color. But it's spelled with a U, so should I say color? No, you say color, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> color. I think I need glasses. Flavors. Niacin, thiamine, riboflavin, and folate. Suitable for vegetarians. Does it really say that on there? Yes, it does. It really says suitable for vegetarians. I, I like that one ingredient. Flavors. <laughs> Like they, they rung out a sheep into it. <laughs> like, the, the essence <laughs> of Australia. Let's put there, a little bit of dirt. A little bit, little, little bit of hobbit in there, too. Let's get a dingo. Oh. Throw a dingo oh, in no, there. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Speaking of reading, Cam. No, you know, I have to mention, because you mentioned this before. It says Vegemite. There's only one Vegemite. Yes. There's just Vegemite. Like we have spam or whatever. It's Vegemite. And then underneath it says that great Australian company, Kraft, <laughs> as in Kraft Foods. That's not an Australian company. Well, no, I'm just saying. And you had mentioned that Kraft had bought Vegemite years ago and yeah. distributed. Okay, and, the, so and there's no different, there's not a lot of different varieties of Vegemite. There is just Vegemite, Vegemite. And, that, and that's it. And so I hope, I hope you enjoyed that, Cammy. I enjoyed the part with the butter. It, it, so what did it taste like to you? It tasted like bitter beef bouillon. Yeah, it tastes like kind of beefy. Kind Which of beef. I think, yeah. I think, excellent idea to use it as a vegetarian additive to make a, a richer stew. Sounds like a fantastic mm-hmm. idea to me. Interesting. Yeah. Nice that, to thank you. you. Know, interesting Portland culinary adventures that we do here. So and I think we should mention you show the bag mm-hmm. that that Vegemite came out of this bag, Earth's bag of tricks. Hang on. Which our daughter was, our <laughs> nice daughter was screenshot. peeking into earlier, trying to figure out what exactly was in there. What else is in the bag of tricks? We have one phone. Portland phone book. Why have I got a Portland phone book? Do you ask? Why do you have yeah, a Portland? And you're phone showing book? a picture of the Portland Trailblazers. Oh, lost. they just oh. lost. But they're coming back. He's close. And Why I, do you have a Portland phone book? To ask Kemi to read it. Why am I going to read you the Portland phone book? Because I really love your voice, Cammy. Which uh, section should I read? I don't know. 
And I Let's said see. that you should be reading the phone book to me. Business forms and services, business Good. management. Oh, butcher's I was, equipment. I, I was going to say, going with the theme that we had earlier between uh, tech and after hours, you need to read it in a Hogan's Heroes voice. I don't, I don't do you know, a this Hogan's is, Heroes voice. This is sounding strangely like um, a request that was made by one of his friends down under saying, you know, oh, if you could only get her to read the phone book. <laughs> Oh, it would be my fantasy come true. <laughs> Concrete. Condominiums. Let's see. Um, excavating contractors. Let's read the excavating contractors. Oh, shall Lord. We? You, you need a big ad. You need a big ad. Oh, a big ad? Just get a big <laughs> ad? We've got Shirley's estate and moving sales. Just you and a big ad, baby. But we've got try it totally free, adult talk, wild action, connect. <laughs> Connect with hot babes. Have a secret encounter right now. Of all the pages to turn to, Cammy. <laughs> it how, was an accident. How did your finger just land right there? She's shushing. I'm not reading the phone number, though. I'm not advertising for them. Here we go. Davis. Here, I'm going to read this one. It's a nice big ad. John's Davis Lock and Safe, Inc. Specializing in commercial, residential, automotive. We cut and program automotive computer chip keys. We recommend Medco high security locks. Now do it in a Texas accent. Locked out, lost keys, keys cut, auto lock repair. We do it all. No, that wasn't too Texas. That was a little bit. Anyway. Mm. Honest, professional, 31 years of service. Call us first for all. And I have to say that all is in quotes. All of your mobile Can locksmith get this needs. Off the air. Yeah. Who is this woman? Mm -hmm. What you should look for, Cammy, is. Something like lawn supplies. Okay, to let's get find the hell some of my lawn, lawn supplies. Lawn supplies. Lawn supplies. Mm -hmm. Locks. Lawn. Your yeah. father. Limousine. Harry. Oh, lawn. Lawn. Phone box. Okay, okay, shush. <laughs> We're just trying to lawn move mowers. it along. Okay. I'll read from a phone book. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> I have no problem with that. There's a, there's a, okay, there's here a, we go. There's even a hashtag. I've got one more. I've got one more ad to read, and then I'm gonna put the phone book down. Free estimate for expert lawn service. Trust True Green. <laughs> Visible. The Which former is, president. Asked could you me stop for laughing at me? <laughs> this is this is what our guest wanted. Okay. Visible's res visibility. I didn't want that. <laughs> now I'm done. Visible results guaranteed. Call True Green today. Oh jeez. <laughs> This would play a little music in there. Okay, here. You you can do, take do, the phone book home. Just do do the general one more time. I look. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Man, hey, Dr. You Normal, can you right. turn my headphones down? <laughs> turn right. turn my headphones yeah, yeah. down. All right. What else we oh, doing? my yeah. goodness. Did you want me to do the general or did you want me to do Schultz? <laughs> I like the general. I can do Schultz. Okay. I'll, 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 okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> which which line from the general? Just the or, 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 the uh, man. Okay. Who is this man? <laughs> oh, we were we were discussing during the break between the shows how. Is oh, I told them. I told them all. In, in truth, <laughs> I would <laughs> love <laughs> some sour pouten <laughs> and some potato salad. Hey, <laughs> hey, we got a guest over here. I'm sorry. He's not from Hogan's it's Heroes, and he has a bag of tricks. He came here to facilitate There's us. a bag of tricks. <laughs> Dr. Good. Normal and I associate any foreigner with Hogan's Heroes. There is a bag I, of I tricks. I don't know why. <laughs> I just saw the next thing that's going to come out of the bag. You did. It's been a long week. <laughs> did that come from our shower? Yes, it did. <laughs> oh, no. It's my mom's shampoo. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie moist shampoo. Mm -hmm. Do they have that in Australia? No. No, that's my mom's shampoo. Bye bye, thirsty, dry <laughs> hair. Hello, touchability, soft locks, courtesy of our formula accented with Australian hello. <laughs> now, now do they have Aussie shampoo? He just the answered lemon? that. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I, just answered that. Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm, seconds ago. I'm, no. And it is made in the U.S. <laughs> of U.S. or imported ingredients. <laughs> it doesn't say where the ingredients are imported from. Presumably but probably Australia. not Australia. Probably not. Uh, we should put the butter on the table. I, I see butter on the couch in the future. <laughs> we should. This is a very <laughs> where's, un, this where's, is a very unusual for me. Where's um butter dish? Yeah, that's from IKEA. Uh oh. I was mm -hmm. going to say, where's Marlon Brando Do you like when in the Australia? butter's around? <laughs> we, we only have one in Sydney, but people travel for, for miles. Yeah, people go from 
so many long distances to get to yeah. Ikea. It's crazy to me. Okay, Dr. Normal and Fada, behave <laughs> that yourself. That one was for you, Fada. <laughs> <All right. laughs> behave reference. Back, yourself. Get me the butter. Now, I see that you have your... We're doing this for the wiki, okay? I see that you Dr. have Normal. your strange okay. love <clears throat> live mugs. Back to the mm -hmm, show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this, Dr. Normal? Yes, we have it. And, strange love live. And I have my Eggpod 2009 American Excellent. Road Trip. Let me see if I can zoom in on your... There it is. What does it say? Let me see. Mental note to self. Drive on the right-hand side of the road. USA, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> it says Canada. Canada, Mexico, April, May, 2009. <laughs> it says Canada. Yeah, it was a time. <laughs> it's true. That's where all the Canadians live. They come it's from Canada. Canada. <laughs> Where else would they be from? Educate Gemi at googlemail.com. I thought I was um I thought it was just like reading funny because it's been a long week, but I'm not. It says Canadian. It has. What else have I got in my little bag of okay, tricks? Okay, what else do you have in your little bag of tricks? It's I not have... that little. It's actually a pretty decent sized bag. It is. And for you, Cammy. Oh, looky here. You know my last martini pitcher? Got broken. Oh, how nice. Look at that. Oh, now that's a very sweet Lee's Thank you here. so much. Oh. oh, I've always wanted one with the glass stir. Guests of Strange Love Live always bring us nice presents. <gasps> Look. Look at that wow. swizzle stick. I'm going to be making martinis. Not, not tonight. I have a big pitcher full of booze right now. This is beautiful. <gasps> I'm so it's gotta make it cling. Make it cling a few times. Okay, wait. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, yeah. That's the magic sound. Can I put it? Let's see. I'm gonna get it up on the table here. Well, careful. We have a tendency. Uh, yeah, you might want to <laughs> put it over there. We have a tendency to lose things mm -hmm. off that table. How about I hand it to you, Doctor Normal? Uh, sure. Maybe I should put it back in the box yeah. where it's safe. Okay. Maybe that's a good idea. And then when we go upstairs, I'll unpackage it again. Okay. I had to see it. I, I have so to say, much. from the chat room, uh, PDX Mike K has just hashtag get off my swizzle stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit extra clean right now. Sorry, trying to get my my swizzle stick safely back into the box. Okay. Here. So um, while we're doing that, I think it's time for some drink music. Doctor. I think it is. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Did you cue that up? I was actually thinking that. You were reading my mind. Okay. It's back in the box safely. I have to say this lends itself well, though. PDX Mike K and I, we've been discussing having a martini up episode of Strange of Life where I only have people in the room that like to drink martinis, and we all have dirty, uh, dirty dry martinis. This will come in handy because then I can make a pitcher of martinis rather than just making the one martini. That's very convenient. Thank you very much. Well, Do you like right. martinis? I've never had one. And oh. I've never had this red drink that I'm about to drink. Okay, let me get mine. Cheers. Cheers. It's very sweet, I'm just warning you. And what are people drinking tonight on Strange Love Live After Hours? Thank you, Fada. We're having a, a tiki juicy... We're having the tiki drink. But you don't have a tiki uh, mug there, which is very surprising. Mm -hmm. Why not? Um, because honestly, or should I make something up? <laughs> what would be more entertaining? Everybody already knows that I'm not the greatest housekeeper in the world. Uh, I just wanted to be able to put this in the dishwasher. You're not at the making end of that the up. That's for sure. No, I, I just wanted to be able to put this in the dishwasher when I went okay. went to bed and not have to have like a, an array it, of tinky mugs okay. out. It looks pretty mm -hmm. in the glass mm -hmm. that you're drinking it from. And so we're drinking. What do you think? Not bad. Yeah? Not he, bad. He's got the same face I made when I was having the Vegemite, though. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Tiki, Tiki drinks and Vegemite, man. Yeah? It is very sweet. What are you drinking? It is. And I'm drinking Southern Comfort and Coke, which I was very surprised that I couldn't get already mixed. This makes me laugh. You can't buy pre-mixed Coke and, and stuff unless you're in a bar and you go and you get the bartender to make it for you. But apparently in Australia, you can. You, you can. But what is surprising for me is that I can go to what I call a service station mm -hmm. and not be able to buy alcohol. Yeah, only in liquor stores I and bars. I can go to 
for instance, a 7-Eleven near my airport hotel in Los Angeles, and I can buy a can of Foster's if I want. Well, you can buy beer and wine, but you can't buy hard liquor. But that's that's very that's very surprising in itself for me. Yeah, isn't that? I think I always find that odd. You can buy some alcohol, but not all alcohol. No. Not the good stuff. No, I think he can do what he wants to do. Not the fully mixed version, but he can buy the uh, full alcohol where he wants to in Nevada. Yes, yeah. and California also. You can buy the alcohol anywhere you want. California to. and Nevada. But the, I don't know of anywhere in the states that sells like the mixed Coke uh, and. Yeah, they're around. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think there's some whiskey drinks and some... That you buy pre-mixed? Something. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Lynchburg lemonade or something like that. Very, very interesting. I think I should go back to the tiki. Oh, really? Mm. Oh. Well, I want to finish it. (laughs) So what's... Now, you also have your big rolled up poster over there. Are we getting to that? Yeah, it was over by the bag of tricks. We're just getting to all this uh, stuff. Actually, what's Fada drinking? We should. Oh, I'm oh. sorry, Fada. <laughs> yeah. What are you drinking? Uh, I'm being a wuss. I I I <clears throat> went had to a long day. I, I went to the Bridgetown Comedy Fest trying to stomach very very bad tasteless comedy, um, and I thought by drinking more, like in a comedy club, it would make them funnier. It didn't work. So I'm on to Earl Grey tea, but in a tiki cup. He's drinking out of Monchego, the monkey head. Mm. Nice. Mm-hmm. And Monchego makes a mean cup of Earl Grey. Good job, Monchego. He's also our uh, our photographer th- for the evening. Not Monchego, Fada. We do not give Tiki Mugs photographic devices here in Strange of Live Studios. <laughs> Unless we've had many more drinks. Yeah. Exactly. So, we have all these things to discuss. You've been doing all this stuff. We've had, you know, language barriers. We're going to see the sign. Oh, we have to see the sign. This is the official ERKPOD American Tour Wall of Fame. Let me help you there. Which, surprisingly, when he rolled it out, says ERKPOD 2009 American Road Trip Wall of Fame. Wall of Fame. Who would have thought, huh? ERKPOD. Dot com dot au. Oh, I like how he has. I, at gmail dot com. I like how he has the fifty five on there to remind him his speed limit. Mm-hmm. You know, in America. So let's what? see how many people have signed it so far. All right. One, two, three, four. Is it nine, ten. I'm having a hard time One, seeing which ones are signatures two, and which ones are saying three, something. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, no, that's really long. Okay, eight. Sorry. See, I divide them up, but I think some of them are things and some of them aren't. Sean, I was just going to sign it, but I said, Sean, I write something. So he wrote O-R-L-Y. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Oh, really? And so I have a marker. Mm -hmm. So I would like yourself and the doctor. I haven't been on your show yet. Well, you will be, and I'm on your show, so... Why not? I don't know what to we say yet. I want to. I want to yeah. write something good on it. Because later you'll sign the the uh, Strange Up Live. I'm going to write so. on it. I will. You won't leave until I do. But right. I want to write something really good on it. All right. So I will. I could sign it now, but then I'd have to write on it later anyway. So why don't I just write on it? Well, later. All at we once. Do. We can do that later. Yes, I really want to put some thought because yeah, some of mine are just signatures too, and I I always prefer it when someone writes something, even if it's ridiculous. One person wrote a bunch of hashtags on mine, which I absolutely <laughs> loved. I thought that was really awesome. Yep. It, it just, yeah, I like to write something good. So when I get back, this will be a great reminder of mm-hmm. all the people, all the podcasters that I've mm-hmm. that I've had on the show and and that sort of thing. So this it is really going. will. So this will be going up in the studio, and it's rather awesome. That is very awesome. I'm very excited. I've never gotten to sign anybody's wall, because we have something similar. We've got the, the Strange Love Live guest canvas, and I always be very excited when people get to sign it, but I've never gotten to sign anyone's guest canvas or wall of fame. Can I, can I, can I ask another Vegemite question? Sure. sure. We can name it Vegemite all you want. Then we could talk about Nutella. As he cues up the, the music <laughs> again. Um, so, um, you do the Vegemite on butter and toast, but you also can do it as a sandwich. How you, do you do that? Oh. Basi- basically the same way, except you don't toast it. You don't. It, so, it, w- what else is on the sandwich? Well, it depends on what depends on what you want. You can just have the butter and and the Vegemite, 
I remember once as a kid, for some reason, having the butter and then the Vegemite and then combining that with peanut butter and putting it together. I don't know why I did that, but I was a kid. Kids really? do some crazy things. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the peanut butter. And, but that's not what what you would do normally. No, I was a kid. Hmm. But, so, it, but it's, very, it's very popular. I used to have it a lot as a kid for lunch. Right, right, right. So the other thing is... Um, what? So you you go into every Hooters in the United States? I wouldn't say every Hooters. I'd have absolutely no, no money by now if I went to every Hooters. Okay. He's going to some key Hooters. And what has surprised you so far in the U.S. just right now? Other than um, you know, get over on the right, correct side of the road. <laughs> that's that's an important one. But you knew that coming in. I I, I knew I knew that coming in. I, I knew that your measurements are different and everything like that, but probably... Like this morning when I told you how cold it was outside. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's I, 46 degrees. I, I, I woke <laughs> up a bit later than, than Cammie because she'd already been outside and, mm-hmm. and walking the door to the school thing. So I said to her, hey, Cammie, how cold or hot is it outside? What do I need to wear? And I, I'm always doing that at home. And Cammy says, oh, it's about 46 degrees, which means exactly nothing to me. I'm good. But and I've actually had some really, really good questions. For instance, do Australians ride bicycles? <laughs> that was a really cute question. And yes, we do. Yeah. Do you ride a lot? Like, is it a, a primary source of transportation or is it more of a sport thing? It's it's more of it's more of a sport thing. Sometimes you see a lot of kids ride their bikes, and then when they get a car, they sort of forget about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have cycling as a sport as well. You can road race, or you can race in a stadium sort of thing. There's a lot of various bicycle tracks that you can ride around, uh, footpaths, that sort of thing. So, yeah, in Portland, it's a it's a major form of. of Getting from point A to transportation. Transportation. I kept wanting to say communication. It's also an entire culture. It is. It's a huge culture in Portland. And this morning, I was my my pissed off bike story for the day. This morning, I was leaving uh, school after dropping off my daughter and saw a guy completely following all the rules of the road, highly visible, going down the street with his bicycle. He had just dropped his children off at school, and a white van came around the corner and nearly creamed him, pushed him all the way over onto the sidewalk. And I thought it was going to be one of those things where I had to stand there and give the license plate number for some jackass that ran a guy off the road and completely smashed him. Luckily, he was he was fine, but an inch from just completely being creamed. And I was so I I yelled at the well, <laughs> I yelled at the van. He yelled at the van. There was a lot of yelling. There's one and thing I'm, that I have. I'm an angry noticed. bystander. <laughs> there's a lot of things that I have noticed, but. One of the things that I've noticed is about certain drivers giving away to pedestrians in strange and unusual spots. Well, the I think Dr. Normal told you the law is that any corner is an intended crossing for pedestrians. Uh, the, like, for instance, when we were driving to Beer and Blog this afternoon, there was a lady and she that wasn't was even not, on the corner. That was not an intended crossing. She was jaywalking. But you still stop rather than run them over. Oh, you don't want to run them over, no. but if you're driving down the road at, you know, 25, 40 miles an hour, you, mm-hmm. I would have, you know, if it was me, yeah. I'd just keep going. Hit the gas. What yeah. on earth were you doing over there? Eating some Vegemite. <laughs> oh, he's hooked on it. I was hungry. A Vegemite he, junkie he's, on he's, my head. He's, he's got a Vegemite Jones. Vegemite. Yeah, no, we have, we have pedestrian, we have a lot of pedestrian loss. She was jaywalking. As was the woman. Where were we the other? We were going the other day. You know what? Let's move on. This traffic thing is really boring. I want to know more. I want to know more about um, Beer and and Blog and and your uh, tweet-ups and What did you think about Beer and Blog? Australia. And there's no Beer and Blog in Australia. Maybe that's something that should be remedied. As a matter of fact, we've pulled the studio audience, and the studio audience has a question about that. Oh, yes. Go ahead, studio audience. Um, You mentioned that there you do have a uh, your own sort of tweet-up group down there called Silicon Beach. That's a very early version of what Beer and Blog is. It's it's very, very early. It's trying to harness the Silicon Valley feel, but given an Australian touch, hence 
Silicon Beach. But unfortunately, I can't usually go to it because I'm working. You need to set up a beer and blog. Yes, have chapters. I, 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 I challenge you to totally co-opt and take over Silicon Beach and change it into a beer and blog chapter. But make it when you can attend. I, I don't. I don't <laughs> think that there's any need to ooh, be taking ooh, ooh. anyone over. Or ooh, ooh, a ooh. beer and pod. Beer and pod. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah. That's a nice offshoot. But, but I, I don't think there's any need to take anyone over in a hostile takeover with all guns well, blazing. We're, we're, we're Americans. That's all we know how to do. Seems we're kind Who of have we Australians <laughs> invaded lately? We haven't invaded anyone. <laughs> they like to hang out and eat their Vegemite. We're, we're pretty laid back and relaxed. I've had lots of interesting discussions with people when they spot that I've got a weird accent mm -hmm. and they ask, where are you from? And I just don't say straight away anymore. Australia, I let them guess and I sort of play along. Mm -hmm. Even though the next person who asks me, I'll probably just tell them Canadian. Mm -hmm. You're from Canada. You got to say Canada, though. Yeah, Canada. I've had people say that I'm from England... Ireland, Scotland, France. The guy in a France, France yes. Um, I've had a couple of people say France. The guy in a certain ice cream shop in Boise that should not be mentioned. Le Beau. Was, the, the jerk that gave you a hard time because you. I want a chocolate ice cream. Wanted plain chocolate ice cream. I'm not going to say the name either, but I've had the same experience at that particular franchise where I wanted plain ice cream and they wouldn't give it to me without a hassle. And so he tried to say yeah. that I was from Fiji, but I think he was joking. <laughs> Fiji. Fiji. I was actually impressed that he had actually heard of Fiji to name it as a country. <laughs> oh, now, now there's a question. Where Did you leave and were you already here when the uh, underwater volcano exploded next to Fiji? I haven't heard of that. I, that happened within the last month. Uh, didn't they have a coup about a week ago as well? A political... <laughs> it's an coup. exciting place. Exactly. There's some yeah. shit going on. <laughs> Somebody... Let me just tell we're, you. We're well informed here. We need that uh, research intern for the summer. Yeah, somebody... Uh, Along who, with the show note intern. Who wants to yeah. be an intern for Strange of Life? We won't pay you. And I'm mean to people. We'll feed you Vegemite. But we'll feed you Vegemite and I'll make you cocktails if you're over 21. And that's another thing. You can buy alcohol in Australia when you're 18. Yeah, I was wondering what the age of drinking was in Australia. It's, it's Most 18. places it's 18. We're oh, prudish. No, no, not, not in the United States. No, anymore. not in the United States. Most places yeah. out of the United but States. But it used 18. to be, it was state by state. It was. So yeah. It used to be 18. It might still be 18 in New York. I don't know. No. So, Maybe not. so in theory, you can go to war for America and possibly die vote. for the country. You can vote. You can exactly. drive. You can get married. You can drive when you're 16. You exactly. can vote, go to war, and get married when you're 18. Be a parent. You can be a parent. Whenever. You know, whenever. 12. <laughs> they need to start licensing that shit, let me tell you. <laughs> 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 I'm on my high horse tonight, people. Spoken by a true mom. <laughs> Written, spoken, and authorized. Please, please go back to chaos. Hogan's here. <laughs> No, but uh, says. but yes, <laughs> but you can do a whole. But you can do a whole. You can smoke cigarettes too. Yeah. You just can't drink until you're 21, and I've always thought that was ridiculous. Yeah. But that's the law. So, interns can have cocktails if they're over 21. Yeah. So yeah, but they have. I have. They have to bring this up. This is cool. They have licenses for everything in Australia. Yes. Um, sewing. Sewing license. I. <laughs> I used to have, and it's, Normal. and it's probably expired by now, but when I was in high school, in what you'd call junior high, mm -hmm. I had to get a sewing machine license to be able to continue. <laughs> a sewing machine license to be and able to I be had, in sewing. And I had a test to do, and I had to sew in a straight line, and then I had to sew, sew zigzags, and all this other stuff. I had to sew a button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sew buttons. And so I had... <laughs> A sewing machine license. So you know how to sew? Pretty well? I wouldn't. I'd say I'm very much out of practice. Oh, okay. And then also, this this is what we learned from my daughter's questions and from the conversations between Eric and our daughter. Which have been very interesting, You have to get way. a pen. You have to get she a pen license. She should be down license. here doing the show. In grammar school, before you're allowed to start using pens, you have to get a pen license. Oh, yeah. that that wasn't the case when I was at school. But, but now it is. But, but now apparently there are schools that will say that you need a pen license. That's so insane. To it's me. just one big licensing 
I think there's just continent. a grade in, it, in grade get, school. It, there's just a certain grade level that they say, all right, you're allowed to use pens. Mm. It's getting it's you not used, yet. <laughs> it's getting you used to all the other licenses that you need. That's so insane. So I, I don't think we, I've ever had a license for anything. Did we talk about my actually, dog, my cat? Well, probably what I'll talk about is we went out and recorded your Echo Kilo. Echo, Echo Romeo. Romeo. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Now I, I, I've been saying it all week, and um, now I'm on the air and totally screwed up. Echo Romeo Kilo mm -hmm. One on the uh, Max train in Portland. We did. We went under the um, the uh, tunnel and went up uh, through the elevator. And so you brought your. You guys your, went to the zoo, but not into yeah, it. Right. So you brought your rig. Yep. You had two sure microphones. Oh, in. I didn't bring my taser down with me. You didn't. I'm glad that you've accepted that it looks like a taser. Oh, so many people yeah. have said it. Yeah. Do you hear say, that in Australia or is that just here that people say that? No, people have said actually. Yeah, I'm surprised you were walking around with that in LA. <laughs> yeah, if an officer so you have a, saw you with a that, zoom, it might make them uncomfortable. Um, zoom H4. A Zoom H4 and you plug in uh, the mics and you put your ERCPOD microphones, which we actually didn't bring those down either. Oh, with the ERC logo, yeah. which is funny because you don't do a video cast, but you've got the branding on your microphones. Oh, by Very the nice way, branding. we have a request from Rick Tarosi that says, don't tase me, bro. bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure we can agree to that, Rick. <laughs> that was actually... You know, I have to say, Rick, you were supposed to uh, remind me it's before actually... you left that you could Go meet Rick. Re meet Irk. Rick was supposed to meet Irk. Put that um, picture down while you're after talking. hours. I don't care. Just anyway, the Rick, you left down. Beer and Blog without meeting Irk. <laughs> Like you're making... And you didn't give me my silicon floor button. Hey, everybody on Strange Up Live, time to drink the Kool-Aid, shall we? This is personal bitch fest. Come on, everybody. Our survey says. Exactly. Oh. Must, it must be the new headphones. Can oh, I show? Oh, you have brought me silicon button. Oh. Can I have camera two, Sir. please? Yes. I'm going to act like Brian oh. now. Camera two. Are you with me? Come here. We haven't gotten to and... use this on the show yet. Action. Take two. Now after our starts. Okay, let's go. Um, Look what we have. Does yeah, that mean okay. I have to spread the Vegemite again? No. Yeah. No, that's okay. Take two doesn't involve Vegemite. No, we'll just edit that in. You're, um, you're, you're going to become a legend in America known as Johnny Vegemite. I'm sorry. Dr. Spreading Normal doesn't the like that I'm flacking. The... Okay. We got, look. Put it down. I was so excited. <laughs> Another thing that we haven't talked about in a long time, and I know people are dying to know this. What do, what do they call that again? A clapboard? Clapboard, clapboard yeah. Clapboards off our clap. closers. Put okay. the clapboard or, down. Or the clapper. <laughs> sometime, sometime, <laughs> or the clap. Sometime after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the show has gotten a bad case of the clap. <laughs> <laughs> this show has gotten a bad case of the clap. Sometime after Christmas, my oh. Doctor Who doll went missing. And I swear that Dr. Normal misplaced oh, it on purpose. But look who's back. It's David Tennant. He's back in the studio with us. I don't think you've mentioned Doctor Who for a while, Kimmy. It's been a long time, hasn't it? And, and the show has improved exponentially. Doctor Normal. To, if you guys can do your Hogan's and your watch up my ass when, impression. When we do Hogan's and... and you know, uh, you cause trouble with the Christopher Walken Christopher thing Walken because then thing, my dad goes around leaving funny comments on people's blogs. the show is jumping blogs. the shark. Move on. It's your... It's, it's our little message. Well, so move on. Spe Next spe question. Speaking, speaking not, yes. of that, how is your dad going on Twitter? I don't think he's tweeting enough, but I think part of that is because he's back in the Midwest right now, and there's not as much to tweet about there. Mm. Because my mum is now on Twitter. Has she tweeted yet? I followed her, but... I don't think so. As of um, recently, I, I don't think that she has. I think she's only having a look at the moment, mm -hmm. and it is a bit confusing. I, it is. Yeah, when, you, when you first join, you've got absolutely no idea what's going on. Yeah. I just kind of jumped in and started babbling, but... Uh, I do. I, I, there's another uh, polled question from the studio Thank you. audience. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, you were mentioning before in the in the regular podcast, which people have now since long forgotten, uh, your Wi-Fi bunny. Yes. Yes. Uh, we were wondering. Anastasia. We were wondering cool. if Anastasia the Wi-Fi bunny is in any way related or similar to the giant evil rabbit in Donnie Darko. Have you seen Donnie Darko? No, I haven't. Has a really giant evil rabbit in it. It's a good movie. Have you seen Harvey? No, but my my mm. bunny is a good twelve inches long. 
Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We don't have that Australian euphemism in the United States. Thank you. Would you? But, uh, but congratulations would you, I, anyway. I, 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 I say fade out right there. Would you? Actually, Doc, 30 centimeters sounds better. Would you rather 12 inches or 30 centimeters? I would take either, my friend. I don't know. I'm just like. And it's his flash. Okay, whoa. Oh, thank you so much for joining us on Strange Love Live After Hours. <laughs> Please don't forget to tip your waitress. Have a great night, everybody. Try and the veal. And we're not even drunk. No, it's sad. Uh, I'm going to put David Tennant down. One more question. So I, I introduced you this afternoon to a fellow, fellow Aussie online that some people in the chat room may know, uh, 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 Yahtzee Croshaw, the guy who does the very hilarious zero punctuation uh videos for for video games what'd you think i absolutely thought it was awesome i had a quick look this afternoon and that was absolutely awesome i'm looking forward to actually sitting down and looking at a few more do you, do you think you might be able to get ben yahtzee croshaw on on one of the earth casts oh, i couldn't where, i couldn't say why not uh you're in sydney right that's right i think he's local to there I can't say why not, and if he's got Skype and I've got Skype, it doesn't really matter where I am, really. Dr. Normal has the Nabaz tag site open with Bunny. Y yes, oh, we, he I, I already showed the, the viewers the Nabaz tag And I'll, I'll, site. Put, I'll put it in the chat room and on Twitter, but for those wondering what I'm talking about, go to theescapist.com slash zero punctuation. And now, I'd like to give another shout-out to Show Notes for Strange Love Live. We've never had show notes before. We want them. It's too time consuming. Consuming. We don't have an intern. So if you go to the site that Dr. Normal is about to put up, it's, I think it's uh, aboutus.org slash strangelovelive. Dot com. That's great. Oh, I'm sorry, dot com. Aboutus.org slash strangelovelive dot com. And if you're listening to this or if you're listening live or You can go to it right now. On the replay. You can go free right now, and for the low, low price of absolutely free, you can go give us or edit our show notes. Thanks to Mark Dilly for helping helping us out. Thank you, Mark. And I have to say, this is very fun. Mark now has the award for the uh, Strange Love Live episode that is scheduled the furthest in advance ever. Oh, yeah, right. Cool. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little sad that it's so far away, but I'm excited. This is going right. to be good. The uh, The... Position used to be held by Aaron Hockley. Okay. But now it's been transferred. Oh, he's got more in the bag of tricks. More in the bag of tricks. Now, what is this? Do you have free newspapers on your transit system? We have free newspapers all over the city, not necessarily right. on our train. Now, this is how I get some of my news for ERCPOD. Is that Michael Jackson on the front? Oh, it is. Yeah, that's Michael Jackson. He looks like a white girl. Okay. Now, Dr. Normal, <laughs> Dr. Normal and I probably remember when Michael Jackson looked, let me just say, a lot different than what he does now. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. when he looked like a little kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, I just need you. <clears throat> and wow. No, thank you, Dr. Normal. One of the very strange things, and this is great for Dr. Normal's audio. Yes, it is. Much like As the slurping Irk straws. Unravels the paper. And, and unfolds and then audio refolds. Listeners. Is a section called MX Talk. And what they have, they have a section which would be very good for Cammy with the theme that we've had today called Vent Your Spleen. Oh, yeah. And then we have another section <laughs> oh, yeah. which would be perfect for me, but not in Portland. Mm -hmm. um, the Here's Looking at You column. So if you see someone on the Max or or on, on the streetcar or wherever you are, and you're too scared to talk to them, mm -hmm. you can write them a message in the newspaper and hope that they see. What do they call that in, in Willamette Week? We call that uh, casual encounters on Craigslist. On Craigslist. They used to have it in the bum, Willamette bum, Week, bum. too. <laughs> no laughs. Come on. Let's Where's see. my? I, I need the laugh track. How many pieces of fruit do you eat each day? Joe Sherritt eats sometimes one. Tim Scott, zero. Straight up, I don't eat fruit. Hope he doesn't get scurvy. Um, and Steve Ho Chung, I'll usually have a banana and a fruit salad. All right, Eric, how much fruit? How many pieces of fruit? <laughs> what? <laughs> how, many, how many pieces of fruit do you eat per day? 
It varies. I really love apples and oranges. It varies. Nice. Dr. Normal. And how many salads do you eat <laughs> per day? <laughs> I knew this had to come up. Were you horrified when I had a salad the other night? Um, Did it, name name that it number gross, between Gross you out just to zero. see it? No, I couldn't get grossed out by you, Cammy. Oh, see, I like having him on the show. We'll just have to have you back more often. What, if you want to fly me over every Friday, I'm available. <laughs> And it's Saturday afternoon for you. Well, there is uh, this thing called Skype. So. Yes. And one and one thing that I should mention, actually, as we're as we're live recording this, it is actually Saturday afternoon in Australia, mm-hmm. and it is actually Anzac Day. Oh, look! It's 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 what day? It's Anzac Day, which remembers the servicemen and women. It was basically the day it's that like Veterans Day. In a way, yeah. it's like Veterans Day. It represents the day that the Australian and New Zealand military landed in Anzac Cove mm-hmm. in World War One. Mm-hmm. And so this is the day that we remember some of our some of our veterans. So I just thought I'd I'd mention that at the time. But I think that this would be very good for you, Cammy, just some people whinging mm-hmm. and maybe for me the he's looking at you. Mm-hmm. And some of the some of the he's looking at you are very, very funny. They'll just say, oh, he's a... Um, to the girl that was on the train at 5 p.m. going west, mm-hmm. I thought you were hot. <laughs> yeah. That narrows it down. Ours are more like our eyes met, but we never had a chance to speak. I always... As I, I exited the I, train I, I always thought, Yeah, I always thought it was weird. We, 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 we did or do still have that section in Willamette Week, and you're like, you read it, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. Is she talking to me, or you know? I mean, it's how, how do you, how do you know that if you write that in the newspaper, right, that that person that you saw, totally anonymous, was going to pick up that newspaper, turn to that column, and see it the next week, right, and go, yeah. "Wow, that's me! I need yeah. to make a call." Yeah, it's, I need to it's find It's sort out. of the uh, classified ad version of sticking a message in the bottle and throwing it in exactly the ocean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah just hoping that it gets there and you know like, yeah hey i was that guy how's it going you know, it's like, <laughs> hey, but, but this is this is how stupid some of us guys are and i'll mm-hmm. get your opinion on this one cammy this guy right hey 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 sneaker in your soul, okay. um <laughs> to the, to the beautiful blonde girl wearing shorts who got off at redfern <laughs> on the city to hornsby 8 31 a.m train today you accidentally left twenty dollars behind it gets better. I would like to return it and also buy you a drink. You're gorgeous. <laughs> you know what you guys need to do is you need to cut that paper out and give Cammy and give give you know you read that one and then Cammy reads a, a one from a girl and you read one and back and forth you know. <laughs> I got a whole lot from girls in there. <laughs> oh, okay. You okay? You left twenty dollars. Yeah. She she left twenty dollars. Yeah. And yeah. He wants to buy her maybe they a met, drink with his twenty dollars. Maybe they twenty dollars. Met uh, and hooked up in a dumpster. Oh, that <laughs> was just filth, Doctor Normal. That was absolute filth. Well, now, where I, did you see that? I, Which I'm just talking. I saw that on Twitter. Someone... On Twitter. <laughs> oh. Well, it was in the news or something, right? It was. It was in, in... one of the Canadian publications. Well, Canada. Canadians. <laughs> I tell you. And it's not as if they were some sick, love lawn, you know, 14, 15, 16 year olds. Why would you do it in a dumpster? The the woman <laughs> I mean... the woman was 30 and the guy was 26. Why do it in it? Find I, some other place to do it. I can tell you what that situation it. was if we can talk later, trust me. Well, I can think I'm of I'm thinking it. some cash exchanged hands. But in a dumpster, even so. Hey, you know. <laughs> By, by the way, I just want to note something. Uh, an excellent use of a word that we don't hear in in the United States much: whinging. Mm-hmm. Whinging. Whinging, which is uh, which which Irk said, which is uh, uh, English equivalent would be like whining. Yeah. Or bitching. Or, or as we Jewish, uh, we of Jewish blood would say, kvetching. Mm-hmm. I've always loved the word kvetching. I think that's a good one. And then, of, then of course, in the back, you have all your quote unquote celebrity news. Ooh, celebrity news. What celebrities do you guys follow in Australia? Oh, we basically get all the same idiots that... Yeah, all get. of our idiots. Yeah. 
All right, let's see. Let me see. There's a story about Gwen Stefani, Simon Cowell, Barack Obama, surprise, surprise. At the time of publication of this, Angelina Jolie was apparently giving Brad Pitt the cold shoulder. Why do people freaking care? Well, I, I have a question that relates specifically to Irk regarding mm -hmm. this, which is, uh, we noticed that your uh, trip to America was oddly timed with the breakup of Mel Gibson's marriage, and we're wondering what role you had to play in that. I have absolutely nothing to do with Mel Gibson's marriage. I don't even know who Ma Mel Gibson's married to. I don't even care. <laughs> is, is that your final answer? That was, very firm. <laughs> that was a very firm and decisive answer. I don't think we need to discuss it any further at all. Shame on you. I, I Shame on you for that implication. I cannot believe you would say such a thing. I so where are you going after this? Can, can <laughs> right now. <laughs> he's going to Canada. I'm yes. going to bed. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's going to go to sleep. And then what are you going to do tomorrow? I have no idea. Edit podcasts, probably. Aren't we going to Hooters tomorrow? Tomorrow night we're going to Hooters. Yes, that's right. Yes, tomorrow okay. night we go to Hooters. I'm thinking we should make it a, a Hooters tweet up. <laughs> Yeah, Rick Tarosi's coming with us too. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. You know, we'll we'll tweet out the pertinent details. I'm thinking seven. Uh, I'm thinking seven. Something. Yeah. Seven at Hooters. Okay. The one on the way to Vancouver. Sure. Yeah. I'm thinking. I don't want to drive all the way to Canada just to go to Hooters. No. But yeah. no yeah. other Vancouver. We have oh, a Vancouver American very Vancouver. near. Yes, we have a very close Hockley by Vancouver. Hockley, Vancouver. Yes, Hockley, Vancouver. Or Hockover. <laughs> Hockley! <laughs> Has this been the biggest train wreck of Strange Life Live after hours ever? No, no it's not. Here, no. Discussing the licensing terms. We've had, you can hit him with that if you want to. <laughs> I'm sure you could reach. I still think Dr. Normal should look up our jazz. You he what? should hook up what? He should look up badge ass on YouTube. Badge ass? Badge ass. Ba ba badge I mean, ass. <laughs> Spell it slowly. Barge as in boat. Oh, barge. <laughs> yeah. Barge ass. Must be, the, must be the accent. What accent? What? Do you have what? an accent? I'm from where? Canadian? Barge ass. Which we can't type in the chat room because they'll... Thousand. There's yeah, barge arse. Well, that's all I'm looking for. Is it barge arse? <laughs> Where's me bloody pizza? <laughs> what you're about to see, if you're actually watching this live or on the video a bit later on, it was a 1970 Australian cop drama. Oh. And it, and it was revoiced in the early 90s. Oh, I see. Okay. So they did they did kind of like yeah, a, um, a C Lab twenty twenty one mm -hmm. on this. Okay, Doctor Normal. Let her rip. Okay. I won't even look at it. <laughs> hey Sarge, get a load of a new tie. All right, but only a quick peek. I don't want to bring up my lunch. I love how they have like the really fake accents. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Stupid. <laughs> 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 Must be Uh-oh, hey, hey. Whoa. Paris? Put it away, You're in the next one. It's a real beauty. Okay, cut. And with that, ladies cut. and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. So suddenly our Hogan's Heroes imitations seem tame in comparison. <laughs> We'll have plenty you, you of time for that later, That's what I was thinking, too. Oh, good time. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Cammy blush. Oh, that's not blushing. Not the first time you've ever seen Dr. Normal go, turn white. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So let's, let's, uh, let's save that for offline <laughs> on the off, podcast. Off air. I was actually thinking that it was something like uh, the, um, the Naked Gun series. Um, with Leslie Nielsen? Well, yeah, was he? Was it, oh, no, that was the movie. Yeah, I don't know if he was in the series or not. I can't remember. It was in the movie. Speaking um, of Leslie Nielsen, our, our version of Airplane was actually retitled Flying High. Really? <laughs> yeah. 
There's a bit of useless was trivia it dubbed? for yeah. Was it dubbed? No. Okay. Because Are there a lot of Australian-made movies? <laughs> not, not... <laughs> yes, no. Austri- Never no, mind. I'm just saying, yes, yes, uh, yes, the yes, movie yes, industry is. in America is like this huge, huge yeah. thing. I'm just wondering... There, there is. There's actually a movie out that I refuse to see because it's got Nicole Kidman in it and I can't stand Nicole Kidman, which is called Australia, mm-hmm. which apparently cost epic money and the reviews basically said epic fail. Mm-hmm. Epic fail. But it was Did suppo- they really say epic fail? That's my interpretation. Okay, because that would be awesome. That, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> but we have a lot of, we have a lot of movies... Uh, we have a lot of Fosters. Should we talk about the Fosters trucks, or we already did that? No, are there Fosters trucks in Australia? We actually, that's not an Australian brand that we can actually go out and buy beer. It's an export. Mm-hmm. It's an export So brand. they make it, and they export it, and you yeah. guys don't drink it. No, that's right. Everyone thinks that we sit back and enjoy it. and, and I'll make Really, it. you just want it out of the country? Yeah, that's pretty much it. That, that whole thing really started with Paul Hogan and Crocodile Dundee. Mm-hmm. There's actually a great scene in Cro- Crocodile Dundee where he is in New York. He's a cu- he's my, a country he's a country my guy. Favorite scene is Look. probably different than the one you're going to tell um, us about. I just love that we're reinforcing every Australian <laughs> stereotype tonight on Strange Love Live After Hours, <laughs> but and that's the, what you need to expect from Strange Love Live. <laughs> but the, there's an excellent scene where this guy's from the center of Australia and he's a rural bushman mm-hmm. and he can basically hypnotize wild animals. Mm-hmm. Not like Steve Irwin, but like, that's, that's like another all story. Australians can do. Oh, I can <laughs> hypnotize lots of people for sure. Not. And so he's in the main, he's in downtown New York mm-hmm. and this guy walks up to him with a, with a flick knife and says, Oh, I think I sh- you should give me all your money, you know, hand over your wallet. And, Crocodile Dundee's girlfriend was with him. Oh, give him the money, Mick. Give him the money. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's not worth getting cut. I also for. love that his name is Mick. Yeah, Mick. <laughs> All right, go Mick ahead. Mick Dundee. Yeah. And he he says the immortal line and pulls out this massive knife. That's you think that's a knife? That's not a knife. This is a is, knife. Is a knife. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure if Doctor Normal looked no, it up right. on YouTube right now, no, that's he'd a, be able to find it. That's actually a famous line. My, my here. favorite part of the movie is a different yeah, part yeah. of the movie. That's my fa- fa- famous line, is, along with the Men at Work songs and stuff, and Mad Max guy with the mohawk and the sidecar. You know, uh, from the chat yeah. room. Uh, <laughs> speaking of movies, uh, Rick Tarosi wants to know. Uh, from Eric, if a dingo ever took your baby, <laughs> I don't have a baby, Rick. I do well, not is have it a because baby. It, it, is it, you <laughs> don't have a baby took it? because the dingo took it? No. Okay. Thank you, Rick. I, I, Thank I, you for I, that. I want to. I want to. Um, Doctor Normal's wearing my sunglasses there was a, again. Knock it off. There was a. <laughs> don't start. Um, <laughs> there, there, um, there was a famous Gary Larson Far Side, mm-hmm. and it was. Um, Something like, you know, one day in the outback or whatever. And it's the, the dingo farm or the dingo, um, whatever, what, do you, what do you put your dogs? Kennel, mm-hmm. right? Yep. There was dingo kennels and the dingoes are out there. And right next to it, it was nursery with the babies out there. <laughs> it was just classic far side. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So what else? Uh, so we were out there on the max. You were with your uh, taser zoom H4? That's right. Star Trek Zapper. We were, had the 57s. You handed me a mic, and I had to say something about Portland or something. Poorly. Yeah. And we went in the tunnel, and then some people were like, where are you from? What are you recording? Are you, they ask you if you were recording something live. Yeah. Am I streaming live? And some people, they, obviously, yeah. do Is that. it broadcasting? Is it broadcasting? Yeah. I've had, are you on TV? Even though there's been like no TV cameras around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yes, the hidden you, cameras all you, over the train. Are you on the radio? Right. Well, no, not really. It actually surprises me. Some people who have actually heard of podcasting that you that you wouldn't expect. Mm-hmm. There was a super happy tourism lady the other day in one of the visitor information centres, and she was actually getting us to go outside mm-hmm. because there were base jumpers jumping off a nearby bridge. So she thought that we should go and look at that first before we went and brought souvenirs. Nice. And she really loved the sound of my voice. So I said to her, well, if you like the sound of my voice, here's my card. I do four podcasts. And she's like, oh, podcast, that's cool. Very nice. But I have been 
I have been pimping this week and pimping your show. So if anyone out there is listening uh, who we spoke to during the week, I know Dr Normal and I met up with some people the other day who were rather intrigued by my shoes. Bowling shoes. Bowling shoes, that's that's. Did you right. get them when you came to the States? No, I actually used to bowl in a league. Mm-hmm. And then w- when I quit, I converted them into... Um, street shoes. Mm-hmm. So I've got things on the bottom so I don't slip over. Very nice. Oh, that was my next question is, aren't they slippery? But obviously no. you're not being slipped around, so very cool. Oh, yeah, no, they've got they've got the little the traction treads. Yeah. Very, very cool. It's an interesting visual too. Yeah, it is. They're shiny. And they have shiny laces. <laughs> they are. And, and that was basically how we started a 10 minute conversation when mm-hmm. we were leaving the restaurant the other day. One guy says to says to me, where are you from? And I says, well, you have a guess. And then he says, East Coast? <laughs> I says, yeah, an East Coast. Not, Not probably yours. your East Coast, but an East Coast nonetheless. Do you, do you ever get like in, in any bar fights or anything <laughs> with people while you're, while you're podcasting? Like, you know. I haven't, I haven't yet. Bar fights with so, people. No, I mean, podcasting. people are generally pretty cool about it. Yeah, You're walking you, around with the mics. They stuff. actually tend to leave you alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even when I was... <laughs> they run away from you. E- even <laughs> even when I was doing the amb- the whole ambient noise thing, yeah. which we didn't really cover on the tech edition, mm-hmm. um, Yeah, I just basically go on trains or anywhere else that's got ambient noise and record it. And even on a train in Los Angeles, you know, people just leave you alone and... You know, they might think you're a bit weird or whatever, so they'll just leave you alone. It's a good tip if you're trying to be left alone in L.A. Take a microphone and a recorder with you. Yes. They might just think you're recording sounds or something for a movie or something like that, yeah. too. Right? And and so that, that was that was quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, so, it, it, you know, you just it's just everybody's pretty cool, and you just kind of walk around. And I know sometimes when I've listened to it, you know, somebody comes up to you, and you hear them talk to you, and it's just part of the moment and yeah you so ask somebody well, what a question. are you they say you know what are you doing and i says oh, i'm doing a podcast then they say what's that and i says basically internet radio that's what i tell people too when they yeah. don't know what it is i say it's a radio show on the internet and then they kind of oh okay yeah yeah and just like just like you do with your website you make it really easy for people so if you just want to play the episode you can just play the episode there so yeah so that's that's really cool. But I've met some really great people since I've been over here, and um, this is this has been a rather interesting, rather interesting experience. I never thought that when I started podcasting that, you know, I'd be over here in the states. And mm-hmm. when I first met met yourself and Doctor Normal um, back in November last year, I never thought that I'd be sitting, you know, in the couch opposite you right now. And I'm glad you are. Yeah, me too. Um, I've had an interesting week. Um, we went to Back Fence. Mm-hmm. We the, went to Back Fence PDX. The other night, which I accidentally called Backdoor. <laughs> right. It's not the first time it's happened. It's not, it's not the first time, but we but we had fun there anyway. That was a rather that was a rather interesting episode. And then we went to Beer and Blog this afternoon. Mm-hmm. So so that was rather cool as yeah, well. That so. was fun. Which, which one of your podcasts is the favorite? Like if if you if you had to pick one, like a favorite child, or you had to get rid of one, or you got too busy and you had to. St- Stop podcast. Which, if you had to favorite? kill one podcast, which yeah. podcast yeah. would you kill? Or which which one would you the, save? The right. one the one that would probably get killed out of all four of them would be Echo. Because mm-hmm. it's really would be, the, often. would be the ambient noise, would be the ambient noise podcast because that's a very niche sort of podcast. Um, there's probably people out there who don't appreciate the ambient noise factor of it. Is it hard to? But I mean, is it? Is it more time to edit than the the other ones, or it, it can be? Yeah. As I said earlier, sometimes just the just the nature of the whole recording. For instance, when we first got on the tram yet on the light rail yesterday, we were actually standing up, and I had one microphone. Doctor Normal had another microphone attached to the recorder. So needless to say, we had to stay pretty close together. Mm-hmm. And. We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> was, yeah, two guys on a tether. You did like, I don't when know. We were tethered. Yeah, it was a three foot mic cable or something. And here comes Tweedledee and Tweedledum with the mics, you know, <laughs> bumping into that. Hello. 
and sometimes you might you might bump the. I wish a camera crew were following. <laughs> Actually, cool, spe- 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 actually, we did have crew, a camera crew following you. Yes, um, I had my photo taken many, 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 many times uh, for the Oregonian. Mm-hmm. Yes, you this did. This afternoon, Vera blog. So that that's rather cool. That's very exciting. It, it, is is Irk FM, FM the music show really the one you're 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 jazzed about right now? Is it just because it's new? But you're 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 really into music and you're doing a you know doing a lot of research and i'm actually finding irk fm to be expanding my music horizons usually mm-hmm. you can give me anything with lots of guitars lots of heavy metal and i'd be really into that but i hadn't listened to a lot of other types of music and i've i've expanded a lot for instance when i get back to australia i've got a jazz special coming out of, and we mentioned john before mm-hmm do you got to meet at Beer and Blog today? Yes, very, very briefly. I yeah. did get to meet John today. There were so many people, so many people there, and I didn't yeah. get a chance to talk to everyone. And it filled up very early this time. It it did, so that that, that was good. I really enjoy interviewing people, mm-hmm. and it's strange to be on the other side of the fence and have Cammy actually ask me the ask me the questions. And it was very... Very difficult because I know that on your show normally you don't have the guest hanging around you for about the four days. It's really, it's prior. really, care, you have to be really careful because I asked you a bunch of questions that we've already talked about and I already know the answers yeah, to. Yeah, it is, it is kind of tough because so, we've had some pretty interesting, you and I have had some really interesting yeah. conversations about podcast production and workflow and those sorts of things. And I think at one point I said, we should be recording these. These are actually kind of, in, might be interesting discussions. It it would be in a way sort of like podcast of porn where we're talking <laughs> equipment. Um, we went as opposed to train porn. As opposed to train porn, mm-hmm. sound porn. That. No, no pod no. porn. Pod porn. Oh, pod yeah. porn. Pod Hashtag porn. pod porn. Yeah, sound porn would be completely. Yeah, different. you're right. That'd be like for instance. Yeah, yeah, I got it. When we went to Guitar Center today and we were having a look at at various microphones and trying to find Cammy's headphones and yeah, that was a fail and. It wasn't fail. You've well, got... no. I, the second store we found them. The first store they didn't have any that would work. I think they're going to work out okay too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, but it's really interesting. And what I like to do, I like to interview podcasters, and I'll be turning the tables on Cammy and Doc in a, another episode mm-hmm. uh, sometime over the weekend, which will be interesting. And I always like to compare different podcasters and their workflows, what equipment they use, and how things have changed since they've. You know, since they've started, and and for you guys, well, you guys obviously didn't start with all these lights and no. all the equipment that that Doc's got around him. So no, we started off with a couple of microphones and um, some pajamas. <laughs> Pretty much, I mean, yeah. no, no camera, no nothing. It was, you know, but we can talk about that on your show. Is is that pajama music? That's 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 outro music. That's the recessional. Whatever they call it. Yeah. That's our our good night. We've been talking for an hour. And then some. And then some. And then some. And then some more. <laughs> we the should... next podcast shall be about editing. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for watching me eat the Vegemite. Please join us next week at Bar Camp. Live Bar Camp. Live at Bar Big Camp. Big party. Going to be fun. At Everybody's going to be there. If you want to go, please make sure that you tell them you're coming so they know how many people are going to be there. And it's starting an hour earlier, so Thank tune you. in at 9, 9 p.m. p.m. Pacific. Pacific. Irk, you get the last word. Sign off. Good night, interweb. <laughs>